Hello everyone, welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Yeah, I'm having one of those bad podcast days. Do you ever have one of those days where you try to do something and it never quite goes right? And so therefore you just keep trying again and again <laughs> and it doesn't work. Well, I'm having one of those days. But anyway, not to worry, it's all resolved now and we're going to read a new story today which is all about our Prime Minister because he's made a decision. He wants to stop people smoking outside pubs. <laughs> now, you would think that he would have more exciting things to think about. But no, he really has decided that people smoking outside pubs should be stopped. Now, he's saying that it's because it's bad for people's health, but probably he's just had a bad experience. Like the rest of us, you wander into a restaurant or a bar and the waiter standing outside smoking, <laughs> looking a bit shifty meaning looking a bit dishonest. And uh, he's decided that uh, he doesn't like that. So it's not that that he doesn't like. I mean, he's saying here it's for health reasons. Okay, so the headline of The Guardian yesterday said, Keir Starmer risks a clash, that means a head-on confrontation, with pub farms over plans for an outdoor smoking ban. So we're going to read about that now. It says here, Keir Starmer is on a collision course with the hospitality industry and political opponents after signalling plans for curbs restrictions on outdoor smoking. The proposals, which have yet to be confirmed with the Prime Minister, would potentially bar, that means stop or prohibit, to bar the verb, uh, tobacco use outside pubs and restaurants, including on pavements. These would come on top of existing plans to phase out smoking. Um, it says here the proposals uh, are met with despair from the pub and hospitality industry, which claimed restrictions on outdoor smoking could harm a fragile sector of the hospitality industry. Meanwhile, health experts got very excited. They backed the idea and it shows that the majority of voters um, have said that they would be in favour of this. Who cares? <laughs> really, I can't imagine getting so excited about it. It says here, the plan first revealed from the Sun newspaper would restrict smoking outside pubs and restaurants as well as clubs and at universities and potentially shisha bars. What? Shisha bars? Oh no, I love shisha bars. <laughs> I mean, I don't generally smoke, but shisha bars are fantastic. Uh, they can't surely close those down. It says here the measures would be included in an already announced tobacco and vapes bill which is intended to gradually make all smoking illegal. By the way, a bill is the first step of something coming into law. Okay, so the document's prepared. It's called a bill, and then it travels through Parliament. Um, it says here, uh, as public health is devolved, that means it's looked after by the four nations, not the central governments, this ban would only apply to England. <laughs> okay, so basically we'll be in a scenario where you go to an English pub, you can't smoke outside, you can't, uh, you can't do that, but you go to a Scottish pub and you can. Doesn't sound very good, does it? As usual with these stories, headline news, you know, it says here, Keir Starmer clashes with pub farms. He plans to stop everyone smoking. Actually, it's not true. It's only an English thing. 
But it shows how different the four nations are. But then again, I suppose if England does it, they also will. Uh, asked about the report during a recent visit to Paris, uh, the Prime Minister did not deny the plans. He says, my plan is to remind everybody that over 80,000 people lose their lives every year because of smoking. Yeah, um, oh, well, that's sad, isn't it? And how does that compare to the number of people dying of drugs? Scotland, supposedly, it's a drug capital of uh, Europe these days. And uh, yeah, people die, that's a fact. <laughs> Uh, let them do it happily is what I say. But um, no, he's sure that he's going to do this. He says this is a preventable death. Yeah, well, so is um, injecting needles into your arms. He says here it's a huge burden on the NHS and, of course, on the taxpayer. So we're going to take decisions in this space. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to him. But that's only for England, okay? And then uh, the story continues. While the precise carbs are likely to change after consultation, uh, there will almost certainly be some restrictions coming in. It may not be as black and white as smoking outside of pubs, but there will almost certainly be changes coming in. By the way, I read another news story uh, today about Australians that, uh, is it four out of every five male deaths in Australia could be prevented? Something like that. The figures are really high. They're saying that over there, many male deaths could be prevented. I'm not sure about those figures I just quoted, but uh, yeah, that's a big headline for Australians today. Uh, it said here that um, uh, the chief executive of UK Hospitality, which represents thousands of pubs, restaurants and cafes, said a ban raises the prospect of serious economic harm. Well, she shouldn't worry too much. I don't think it's going to happen, but they probably will change some things, but maybe not exactly smoking outside pubs once they agree all of this. They've already started arguing about it. Uh, so they're saying smoking carbs would harm businesses and potentially endanger public safety if police resources were used to enforce it. I don't think anybody would try to break the law with that, would they? Um, it's mainly the waiters hanging outside pubs and bars that I don't like. Um, Weatherspoons, that's a major chain here. Uh, the chairman reacted by saying this wouldn't have a big effect on business. The question is whether the government should interfere in individual liberties. That's a good question. Does the government have a right to do that? I mean, if I want to uh, go and, you know, light up three cigarettes and, uh, you know, wander down the road, Surely that's my right, isn't it? Wow. Um, a spokesperson for the government said that we, we do not comment on unsubstantiated news stories. Uh, and then it says here, we are considering a range of measures, though, to finally make Britain smoke free. Oh, really? Wow. I guess if you do smoke, you might find that quite difficult. It says here, in the year after smoking in enclosed public places and workplaces uh, was banned in 2007, there were 12,000 fewer overall admissions, including a 12% drop. Okay, so what they're saying here, in the year after smoking was banned in 2007, so they mean 2008, can they not just say that? It says that there were 12,000 fewer overall admissions to hospitals in England. I can't imagine that being popular in other places. And then it has a picture here of... <laughs> I don't think this is right, actually. It looks politically incorrect. It has a picture here of a black man 
smoking a cigarette and drinking alcohol. Um, I'm not quite sure what the message is there, but I think they're trying to just say that it's maybe not a problem that affects only white people. I don't know, but uh, anyway, uh, it goes on to say staff and customers are, are split over these things. Uh, it says here, um, some people are saying, it just seems like a really bad idea. I don't see how it can be good for hospitality. He's a uh, owner and manager of a craft beer bar in Birmingham. He said that. And uh, another quote here from somebody else saying, there's still a lot of people who smoke. Yeah, that's very true, and that they should be respected. Um, other comments here uh, are basically saying, I think it's ridiculous, as if there's not enough pubs being closed anyway, just leave us alone. Yeah, yeah, nice comment. Um, someone else here saying, as someone who smokes but is trying to stop, I don't see how this would help. Yeah, well, it's not designed to help you stop smoking. It's designed to protect the environment, I suppose. If you want to stop smoking, you should go and, I don't know, buy a no-smoking no book or a book called How to Give Up Smoking, something like that. Oh, very interesting. But, um, yeah, I wish they would just leave us alone, you know. It would be nice if the government just left me alone without having to change things that uh, I like to do. I mean, I don't smoke, but, um, you know, now they're talking about uh, imitation meat becoming the new meat that we're all going to be eating. And they're, they're talking about uh, changing other things that we like to do, especially in terms of watching TV, what we should be watching, what we're not watching, what channels will be banned, what content will be taken down. It, it's getting to a point where we, um, we're not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> but uh, anyway, well, that's a story from today about the government planning, at the moment anyway, to ban outdoor cigarette smoking by or near pubs and restaurants only in England. I can't imagine that happening in Scotland. Probably it will be used as a political tool to say, oh, well, if England's doing it, we're not, although health officials may disagree. But that's if it even happens. I mean, that's the plan. But they're saying here what it actually looks like is likely to be very different before it actually gets better. Um, or go through Parliament. And there we are. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk soon. See you. Bye.